Welcome back to Math Window. Are you able to solve the system of equations? Look, square root, square root, square root, square root. Hard, isn't it? So first, what should you do? Since a and b are under the square roots, so of course they have to be non-negative. And then, what should you do? The definition is solved. And then, can you find out the relationship between a and square root of a, b and square root of b? Of course, you can. a is the square root of a then squared, and b is the square root of b then squared. So now, by using which method can we succeed? Of course, by substitution. Now, Let's substitute. Which term or which variable should we substitute? Of course, square root of a and square root of b. Now, let's let square root of a be equal to x and square root of b be equal to y. Of course, x and y are also both non-negative. X and Y are also both not negative. And then, what should you do? In this equation, we can square the both hand sides. And then, we can get the relationship between A and X. That is, A is equal to X squared. In this equation, the same way, you can get B is equal to Y squared. Now, you have to substitute these four relationships into our original equations. Let's do it. Our first one, our second equation. Our first equation will become a is equal to x squared. So it is x squared and then times square root of a is x. So it is x squared and times x. And then plus, since b is equal to y squared, so it is y squared and then times square root of b, it is y, so it is y. And then the right hand side is 183. x squared and times x, it is x cubed. And then plus y squared and times y, it is y cubed. Is equal to 183. This is our first equation after changing. After the changement, our second equation will become b is equal to y squared. So it is y squared, then times a squared, it is x. Uh, sorry, square root of a is equal to x. So it is y squared and times x. And then plus a is equal to x squared. So it is x squared, and then times square root of b is equal to y. So here is y. Is equal to? 182. We have to solve for the values of a and b. That means we have to solve for the values of x squared and y squared from this system of equations. Of course, from the first equation, x cubed then plus y cubed is equal to 183. In the first equation, the left hand side can be factorized. It is x plus y and then times x squared minus xy and then plus y squared. I can write it as x squared then plus y squared minus xy. They're actually the same thing. Is equal to 183. In the second equation, on the left hand side, an x then times y can be taken out. So it is xy and then times here is y, here is x. So in the bracket, it is y plus x, it is x plus y. The left hand sides of these two equations can be written as the multiplications of the terms x, y, and x plus y. Maybe you want to say, what's this thing? x squared and then plus y squared minus x times y. Of course, 
It can also be written as the term of x n times y n x plus y. We know that x squared then plus y squared then minus x y. It can be written as x plus y all squared. However, here is plus two x y. We have to subtract x and y. So now we have to subtract three times x and y, x times y. So that's the thing. Now we can do a substitution again. This time I can let. Hmm. Which variables can I let, or which terms can I let? Of course, x times y and x plus y. X times y it is n, and x plus y it is o. No, no, no. M, m and n are beautiful. N and O are ugly. Hmm. These two equations become equations about M and N. The left hand side is of course from the first equation. M and then times M squared minus three N. It is one hundred eighty-three. The second equation, the left hand side is only m times n. Of course, n times m, they're actually the same thing. Aren't they? 182. This is our new system of equations. Hmm, what should we do? Of course, we can solve for the values of m and n directly. What should we do? Of course, from the first equation, we can do this. m then times m squared, it is m cubed. Minus m times three n. It is three m n is equal to one hundred eighty three. Now substitution. Here is this equation, and now we can substitute m then times n into our new equation. First, we did the changement, and then we can substitute. Since m then times n, it is one hundred eighty two. So now. Substitute it here. So of course, m squared. After calculating, it is equal to 183 then plus three times 182. It is 729. And you can find out that 729 it is a cube number. It is equal to nine squared. So the value of m can be solved easily and directly and successfully. So now, m is equal to oh my pen is sick. We know that the value of m is equal to nine, and the multiplication of m and n is one hundred eighty-two. So now n is only equal to, of course, one hundred eighty-two then divided by nine. So that's the value of n, and there are the values of m and n. However, we have to solve for the values of a and b, x squared and y squared. x plus y is equal to nine. x then times y is equal to one hundred eighty-two divided by nine. So, x plus y it is m. It is nine. The product of x and y it is n. It is not a nice number, is it? One hundred eighty-two divided by nine. From this new system of equations, we have to solve for the values of x squared and y squared. Of course, have you memorized the binomial formula? X plus y all squared and x minus y all squared. Firstly, x squared. Then plus y squared. If we can evaluate the values of x squared then plus y squared and x squared then minus y squared, then the values of a and b, of course, x squared and y squared, can be solved easily. So now x squared then plus y squared, it is equal to x plus y all squared, then minus two times x y. That's it, and then, 
Of course, x plus y. We know it is nine. X times y. It is one hundred eighty-two divided by nine. So now, the value of x squared and plus y squared. It is equal to. After calculating, it is three hundred sixty-five divided by nine. Now we have to solve for the value of x squared minus y squared, and then, of course, we can do this. We cannot solve for the value of x squared minus y squared directly. Of course, we can square it, and then it is it is equal to x squared plus y squared, and then squared, and then minus. Four times x squared y squared, so that's the formula. We can evaluate it squared easily. X squared then plus y squared. This substitute it here. X times y is one hundred eighty-two divided by nine, and then square it, then times four, and then after calculating, the answer is. Nine. So then, the value of x squared minus y squared is three. No, 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 three, or negative three. Now we know that x squared plus y squared it is equal to three hundred sixty-five divided by nine, and X squared minus y squared it is three. We can solve for the values of x squared and y squared easily. Add these two equations together, and you can get the left hand side is two times x squared, and the right hand side is the sum of these two numbers. Then divide two on the both hand sides, and you can get the value of x squared. That means the value of a. After calculating, after evaluating, you can get that. The value of a, of course, x squared, is 196 divided by nine, and the value of b, or y squared, it is equal to 169 divided by two divided by nine. Of course, we also have the second case. In the second case. Here is minus three instead of three, and we can get the solution pair. These two numbers will change their orders. Do you get them? And don't forget to give me some love. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.